Long overdue vlogs. Footage I shot quite some time ago, but didn't get around to finally editing till much later. It's long overdue vlogs. Last year, we attended the 100th anniversary of the Anaheim Fall Festival, a big event in downtown Anaheim where families and local businesses come together to celebrate the spooky season. Every corner of the downtown promenade was filled with events and floats and booths from local businesses and food and all sorts of fun stuff, and families came in all sorts of Halloween costumes. And the local museum, Museo, had an exhibit on the history of the festival. And it all culminated in the Halloween Parade, a sizable show full of local legends. The Halloween tree was lit up all bright and orange, as it always is. But the only spot we could get to see the parade was by the Wells Fargo on Harbor and Broadway, quite far away from any actual announcers describing the parade participants, so we just had to kind of see who people were as they came. We will cheer for anything that is put in front of our faces. The parade was sponsored by several local businesses, including OC Vibe, I'm sorry, OC V exclamation point B, which is that shopping center that hasn't been built yet around the Honda Center. You know, we're being sponsored by Commerce to Come. The Grand Marshal was Sid Croft of Sid and Marty fame. And behind his car were people carrying signs with the names of some of his shows. I guess nobody wanted to splurge on having an HR Puff and Stuff costume to walk with him, but still cool to see a legend. And then there were just so many participants. There was a Fran vehicle in costume. Fran is free rides around the neighborhood, a tram around downtown Anaheim, and it was dressed up as a Fran Kinstein. There was King Kukulele, who I think is legally required to show up at every fun, somewhat kitschy SoCal event. There were various school marching bands and cheer squads. Some of them were allowed to dress up in costume, and some of them clearly had to stick to the uniform. Oh, I like that Marty McFly there. We are definitely getting uh, the fewest bands actually playing as yeah. they walk past us. Yeah. Okay, the brown Oogie Boogies look unfortunate. <laughs> All right, gang, this is my bus. <laughs> followed by Dad Sparrow. <laughs> all right, I love the Main Street Electrical Parade. Do you think they're embarrassed that they all wore the same thing? Unlimited U. That sounds overwhelming. I can only handle my limits right now. <laughs> there were various car clubs. Some of them featured characters in their cars. <laughs> He's on the phone and he doesn't have his headlights on and his car is being pushed, I think. Oh, that's a good Sally. It is a very good day for Ogas. This one's got a whole skeleton family. Is this Judge Doom's car? We could just any day stand on this street corner and watch cars drive by. <laughs> Would it just cheer for all of them? <laughs> Like that's true. That's true. If we were if we're over here normally they'd be going the other way. So that is a unique experience. There were local politicians or at least the names of local politicians. I honestly wouldn't know most of them by face, so for all I know they may have just had random folks go in their place, but there were the idea of local politicians. <laughs> Sure. Maybe the senator is Jack Skellington. <laughs> the werewolf is the senator. The werewolf is the senator. It's bold to just have politicians out sitting on the back of cars. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're not in Dallas, so... I, I was going to say, it's amazing that didn't end in the 60s for good. <laughs> there were various branches of law enforcement. Look, I'm only cheering for the horses here. This really is. Let's look this way for a while. I'm offended. And there were oh so many instances where we got to hear Thriller. Man, these skeletons know how to party. Yeah. I'm actually amazed this is the first I've heard Thriller all day. And our second Thriller of the evening. They look better than that. Yeah. So the car is driving too fast, they can't catch up. Oh my god, yeah. Sir 
thriller. There were floats and presentations sponsored by local businesses. Meet Jennifer Bergen, Anaheim's woman general contractor. <laughs> A lot of signs telling me to meet Jennifer Barrigan. <laughs> Which one is she? Is she the unicorn? <laughs> See, that's her on the list. <laughs> <laughs> she's not a lady country, but she is the youngest one. Where are we supposed to meet her? <laughs> she's the spider. And there were businesses that aren't quite local exclusively, but they have a strong local presence. I'm guessing those lanterns were supposed to be hanging to look like oranges. <laughs> Even a car from that park up the road made an appearance. Minnie was riding on the back of it. I guess Mickey can't be bothered to show up to a parade that's not all about him. And of course, there were the Anaheim Halloween Parade original floats. We saw them around the promenade throughout the day and didn't realize they were the actual same floats that we would see in the parade itself. Some of which had fun folks on them like the Bob Baker marionettes, also required to be at every fun kitschy SoCal event. <laughs> there was even a truck playing footage of Anaheim parades of yesteryear. And there was so much more. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> they they got more costumes, but not the good pun name. <laughs> A tractor full of witches. <laughs> this this is just Goring Twenties. <laughs> Keep your hands on the wheel, Batman. <laughs> Show's over, go home. I will say, we are getting our money's worth out of this free parade. Yeah. Like, yeah. there is a lot of parade. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a professional politician, so he's putting in the FaceTime, kissing babies. <laughs> Hello, yes, I am the face of the empire, but we're trying to put forward a friendly empire. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a Star Scooter 3000 mobile. Oh my god, yes. Let's not start trying that in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. This is like the only Christmas encroaching on a Halloween parade we accept. Yes. Maybe the guys on the cover of the one dead Kennedy's <laughs> I'm honestly impressed with how many different styles of Jurassic Park Jeep you can do. Oh, <laughs> and then the, they shove the Jurassic World one towards the back. Uh oh, the, the Raptor is not dude. <laughs> and now, road work. <laughs> They start just putting down the codes. They're like, all right, guys, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get all this asphalt up. <laughs> we actually scheduled construction for the same night. It was poor planning, but what you gonna do? Once it's in the books, there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Despite the rich legacy of this local institution, a legacy that includes involvement from one of the biggest media companies in the world, the feel was still very slapdash in the best way. It made everything feel local and homegrown. It truly was the entire town getting together to put on a show. This year will mark the 100th anniversary of the parade itself, and it'll be next Saturday, October 26th. Will we see you there?